What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today me and Sylvia have come to the Royal Air Force Museum at Cosford. We're gonna get straight into this one guys, let's do it. Why does this kick this on now? It'll blow my head off. Like being my head off. Use it as a blow it hair dryer. <laughs> yeah, go. kick it in. This is what we call a flying boat. Wow, you can see right the way inside there, look. You see the two seats. I wonder if we can go inside it. Yeah, this is what we call a flying boat. So, as you can see, it's very much shaped like a boat underneath. The wheels go right up, lifted inside. Almost like a tilt on an angle. It's quite, quite clever. Never seen one of these up close. Little inspection window there. Check how all is good. Look at the horn. Oh, we've got a nail. Got um, some pressure now too. That went off, you know that. <laughs> See on each, each of the wings, we've got these like, little boat things. And that's because it does record, should I say, land on water. Look at this guy. Hello, old friend. There inside. Wouldn't like to fix that. Wouldn't trust myself anyway. These tires they need replacing, look at them. Look. It's crazy. Whoa, look at these jets at the back. After burners. Spitfire. You have one of these back in Stoke, but it has really short wings on. I reckon they come to about here. Here's the German's version. The German's equivalent. Never seen one of these before. The Bolton Paul Defiance Mark 1. 1942. The only surviving example of its type, this Defiant, manufactured nearby in Wolverhampton, served as a night fighter with number 307 Polish Squadron in the final month of the battle. All black. Put the guns on it and that whole thing will spin as well and see how it'll just do a complete 360. Sky flash rockets. Oh there's another one at the back. This thing's badass. I love the colour as well. Like a sky blue. It's got a proper 80s like vibe to it. Experimental aircraft program used to develop the advanced technologies and flight systems intended for what became the Eurofighter Typhoon. Yeah. 
must be leaking. It's dripping out some oil. Here we have an example of a V-1 and a V-2 flying bomb. The V-1, an early cruise missile, was developed and deployed for the terror bombing of London. But unlike V-1 flying bombs, V-2s were virtually impossible to intercept once they were airborne. Launch sites were targeted, and as with the raids against V-1 sites, these were initially successful until the Germans introduced countermeasures by using mobile launch sites. This example of a V-2 rocket, the world's first supersonic ballistic missile, was assembled by the British at the end of the war. Made from captured parts, it was used in research and evaluation work. V-2s were mainly used against targets in Belgium as well as the southeast of England. We're now in the Cold War exhibit. So we've got like a few planes outside, really interesting things to see. And then there's the first museum you go in, and then they've got this Cold War exhibit, which is really awesome. I don't know what this thing is. Absolutely massive. Water, methanol, 145 gallons. This is one huge aircraft. Long range, medium bomber, and refueling tanker. Massive, massive collection of planes here. So cool. Highly recommend you coming. It hasn't cost us anything today. Just have to pay for the car park, but normally I don't think it's too much, but I think it's worth it. It's worth checking out RAF Cosford. We have been to the Cosford Air Show a few times, but that, that can be a little bit expensive. See this plane behind me. You see? Guys, there's a woman staring at me down there. I'm just gonna lift the camera and show you. Look, she's there. She's smiling at me. Yeah, there. I love the layout they've got here, how they've got like things upstairs and things downstairs. So cool. You see that plane that was just under? This looks like an atomic bomb. I've seen one of these before if it is. There's that woman again. Excuse me, can you stop staring at me, please? This is like the one I went in at the Staffs Regiment Museum. Hello. I've been inside one of these before. You see all these on top. All these little things here. Periscopes. Should all have them. Some more periscopes. Periscope. Periscope. Oh, no way, Traband. They should be made like. You hear that? 
I was telling Sylvia I want one of these. They're quite common in Poland. Always wanted one. Here comes my dream car of all time. The Beetle. So gorgeous. That's pretty cool. Spit for I like the black actually. The Vulcan bomber. So much. Twenty-five pound. It's a lot of money. That's not a helicopter, that's like a planet. The size of it. to earn this now. Imagine going to work and this every day. Apparently there's a, uh, a viewing platform right on the top floor, so I'm going to go up to there and have a look. That's the second floor that we started on. You see? Really high? Oh my god, this is high. Floor one. Oh, it does go high. I'm almost in the roof. I don't like heights. Oh my god, I've got a tank. Lost the Javelin, two seats, all weather fighter. The Javelin was the first twin jet Delta Wing all weather fighter in the world, designed to intercept Soviet bombers approaching at high altitude and high subsonic speed. Its performance fell short of that expected. Maximum speed 708.98 miles per hour. That thing probably sounds like the actual devil in its going. I was trying to look for Sylvia and Adam. I think they're actually somewhere behind this this plane here. I don't think they're on that side. I think they're over this side. Some people are coming up. Just look at that, that plane from here. Honestly, when you're standing up here, you can see how big that plane is. I think it's a Hercules, I'm not sure. It's like, it could be smaller than a Hercules, actually. And from up here, you can really see just how big it actually is. Yeah. Let's see if they'll come up. Oh, they're coming up. Oh, they're going to come up. They're going to come up. Let's go away from at the door. Hiya. Hiya. You know what? Right, right heights? Yeah. It's fine. Let's have a quick look over the edge. And you can see that the tail's down on the back. Yeah, good. Do it as well. You do it. 
Run Driver Series 1 with VIP platform. Wow. Like the ones in the museum, aren't they? In Coventry? Is it Coventry? No, Gaydon. And David Brown. Yeah, David Brown's that tractor we saw in um, Castle Farm. Yeah. David Brown. Oh, David. Oh, that is a tractor. Well, it doesn't look like a tractor, does it? Not until you see it from the side. <laughs> Nice tractor. Morris Travel. Rocket engine. Slice that off. Slice that off. Slice that off. This is like rocket science. Airliner Flying Laboratory. The Comet was the world's first jet airliner. The prototype broke many records on long distance test flights, its jet engines and pressure cabin offered much higher speeds, as well as a new level of comfort up to 40 passengers. Shane, they won't let us on. I think I've been on this one. They parked outside before and they let you on it. Sure, it's the one. Look at that big Rolls Royce engine behind you. That's like what they built at that place we went yesterday. Yeah. We drove past the, the new test facility for Rolls Royce. You see them on a plane and you don't realise they're huge. Somebody on that. Hold on, hold on. I swear it sounds like somebody's on there. I can hear it creaking. Missiles. Don't ask me how they work because I haven't got a clue. Somebody takes off for me and I'll just be able to fly it around. I'd love that. Or I'll go in that one, sit in the front and watch. <laughs> 